I'm going to show you something uh, weird or odd or funny today uh, regards to the Famicom disk system. I've just fixed up this system here so that it should work. I've put in a new uh, belt. I have some new belts here. They're kind of transparent. I usually have used this yellow one before. I think the yellow one is easier to use because it's a bit larger. But anyways. Um, That helps. Um, so this is Golf Japan course, right? Has kind of a relaxing sound this disc system when it moves. And what does it say? Golf US course. I'm glad I not noticed that before I sold the game. Now the second weird thing is that you can see the flag there seems to be glitching around, moving around. Some clear problems, uh, both with the pin and uh, I mean the stick and the flag itself seems to be moving around. If I um, start, uh, if I press start here, you see it only affects some things. The text is all right. But things that are moving uh, kind of glitch. We're gonna see how much. If it's nice, you know, you know that something is happening when it moves like this. It doesn't just say "loading, please wait." Um, looks like Mario is glitching a little bit. By the way, I've made a video of Golf US Course and Golf Japan Course. I played pretty terribly, but I think that's why the videos have quite a, a number of views, actually. Whoops. Okay. Um, the reason why this now and almost every game will glitch. Uh, the reason why it glitches is because of some problem with the ROM adapter. Um, it only affects the uh, earlier model ROM adapters. It seems to be some a chip that is degrading inside of it, and I'm trying to figure out a good solution with my colleague. And we've also discussed this a lot on uh, Famicom World forum. Uh, the weird thing is that it affects the earlier models, some of them, <coughs> but only on Famicom consoles that have this FF here, later model Famicom consoles. Um, I'm going to show it on a twin Famicom. There. Put this into there. And this actually works without any problem. Uh, oh yeah, I have to turn the game around. I forgot that. And I'm going to get error that says A, B side. So let's try with the A side. It is a bit of a weird setup to have like a ROM adapter and disk drive on a twin Famicom that already has a disk drive there. But anyways, so you see no uh, no glitching here. Flag perfect. Uh, so this is like a mysterious problem that caused a lot, of, have caused a lot of people a lot of pain and arguing and all kinds of stuff because it's like you know, it works. No, it doesn't work. You know, doesn't work. Works. Doesn't work. Work. Um, One way you might be able to tell the difference is that all earlier model uh, of RAM adapters, you probably cannot see a difference, but they um, have a smooth surface, a bit shiny. Um, and uh, only the earlier models have that, and the later models have this um, uh, rough surface.
so the sort of the smooth um, ones are easier to get scratches on and maybe that's why they change it I don't know Um, I'm gonna try with uh, this one inside of the Famicom to see what happens. There. Oh, forgot one thing. Cables. Oh, I forgot. No, it is AZ. Oh. Alright. No glitching, no problem. We could uh, open this adapter up to see what uh, version it is. So we see it says uh, FMR03, and this this problem seems to affect uh, uh, adapters up to 04. It is believed that it's got something to do with that chip, the SROM chip. Um, and my colleague, he's gonna try to replace one of them. Um, and probably it will work after that. But other people have said that. Could be other things, but uh, could be these chips here. And I, I think the reason why it doesn't work on um, on that console, but it works on this one. It's got. It might got something to do with because this is SROM, so it's some kind of memory chip uh, to do with processing. And maybe there's just the information is somehow uh, doesn't get through fast enough or something. But uh, most Famicom consoles can handle it. Maybe this one can't. Maybe they made it more efficient somehow. Uh, maybe they removed error processing from it. I don't know. Because this console is actually later than this console and other consoles. I think the this one has a motherboard that's from 1989, I think. Uh, this one has uh, came out in 86, 87. So maybe they tried to make them cheaper. Well, we're going to try that a bit more. Um, I could open this one up also. This is the 04 model, but it has a completely different chip there. I haven't seen that one before. Um, and that, that is also a completely different chip there. Just one chip, one big one instead of several or small. Um, so I think this one is going to be safe for a while. Um, the thing is, uh, with the ones that are flawed or faulty, it is a, like a degrading problem, we think. So that the more it's being used, the more likely it has it it, it has to get uh, worse and worse, and uh, it's um, like a degree of uh, glitching, so it it will have more or less glitching. But as far as we know yet, it's only on these consoles. It may be on the AV Famicom, uh, the uh, uh, later top loader, so-called top loader model, which you know every Famicom is the top loader, but the uh, later model that has a different design um so that's i think all i know so far